Hello and welcome to another Alpha Labs video. This time I'm not gonna show you a piece of equipment. That may sound odd, but we've been working very, very hard on uh, improving our measurements. And in this case, that meant that we're gonna build a anti-RF box, or a shield box. And honestly, it was a lot harder than I thought. Um, it's more than just a few pieces of wood and uh, yeah you know this RF foil uh, cloth yeah it's some sort of cloth um, it meant that I had to read a lot of papers and uh, learn about how RF works uh, maybe I'll explain it in uh, another article that I'm gonna write about our shield box but the reason I built this is actually pretty easy. I was measuring the Grim MU2 and uh, the measurements were good, the jitter measurements on the wave crest, but there was something off uh, in terms of phase noise and I couldn't explain why, uh, except for the fact that I also have some noise uh, playing around while uh, I'm measuring for example, uh, power supply noise on our listening set listen setup, the light impedance stabilizer network setup um, that we use. And there is a huge tower uh, uh, pretty nearby. It's from KPN. It's one of the biggest providers for internet and television. And uh, on that huge tower, there are also some uh, FM uh, transmitters frequency modulation transmitters and uh, especially around 93 megahertz up to a hundred and something megahertz. I have the feeling um, it's interfering with some of our measurements when we want to go really really deep. When I'm just doing some basic measurements with the prism, the d-scope, it's no trouble at all but when you're really into a piece of equipment trying to measure picoseconds of jitter uh, that might ruin your measurements. So we built a RF box and let me show you how this works. We did some padding and we tried to seal the whole box as good as possible. This is with, uh, we used uh, some uh, sealant or some yeah how do you say it some isolation material to make it really air and thus RF tight and on the inside behind this is a net filter uh, a power line filter in order to suck out some more RF or how do you say so block some more RF so we have power and on the inside if you can see it yeah pretty much on the inside we have the connectors as well. They're all grounded to the blocking RF foil. What I want to show you now is how this box seals. It's not perfect yet, but we're getting there. Um, I'm using a, a standard uh, Zommer BNC cable and on the inside, as you could just see, I have attached some form of an antenna. Uh, this antenna will pick up every our piece of RF uh, there is now because there's no filtering whatsoever and the box is open. So I will show you, uh, I'll blank out this one, I'll blank out this one and I will blank out this one. This is the, tra this is the first trace and I will say, you know what, just measure it. And you will see it's pretty much the same as I did before. This is television, radio, whatever. Uh, and it's already blocked and, uh, well, uh, attenuated by the roof and stuff like that, but it's still getting in. And this antenna is not tuned, so uh, this is not really representative for how powerful it really is. Um, but you can see it's not clean at all and uh, on the listen setup it's even worse, I can guarantee you that. So, you have an idea. Uh, let me freeze this one. And now I'll close the lid. So, 
sealed now. And I will say average it again. And as you can see, it's pretty much gone, except for this one. And it bothers the peep out of me that I can't seem to get rid of it. It's also dependent on the length of the cable, because I tried a shorter cable and this one gets shorter. So probably it will couple to this one and then it will get in as well. But it's around 400 and something megahertz, 463 megahertz, and it's at minus 80 dBm. So I can live with that, but I'm still gonna try to get rid of it. But as you can see, all the rest of the noise is pretty much gone, uh, except I see a small bump right here. It will probably be 93 megahertz. Yeah, of course it is. That's a very strong uh, radio transmission. Uh, it's in the tower at the back. But I will probably get rid of it once I've clamped up some ferrite uh, cores to the uh, power line. I think this is coming in through the power line. But I am pretty happy with this result and I hope it will improve our jitter measurements and I will, what I've learned from this is what I'm going to apply to the listen setup as well and try to attenuate the noise I'm picking up on the ground plane and on all the wires as well. And if it won't work with improving our jitter measurements, I don't care because I learned a lot about RF by building this box and uh, reading all the white papers and stuff like that. So either way, I'm very happy. I'm pretty happy with the results as well. And I hope you like this kind of projects and I hope you like this video as well. And if you liked it, please thumbs up, like our video, subscribe and spread the word. Thank you very much. Bye bye.